What's up? It's the only ninja wearing aviators and a superhero hat bringing you another video here on the modern ninja champ Now today we're doing a review over these foam nunchucks that you can get yourself on Sentry.com And I want to start off the video by saying no, I am not contracted by Sentry I'm not paid for this video isn't sponsored I just have Sentry nunchucks and I'm letting you know what I think about them. So run that intro All right, starting off, these foam sentry nunchucks are great for beginners. What makes them so great, I think, is because of A, the foam that keeps beginners safe because I can't tell you how many times I've seen someone whack themselves in the nuts or hit themselves in the face when they're trying out nunchucks for the first time. Also, the rope. It does not use a chain. It uses a rope so that it doesn't get caught and doesn't get knotted up as easily as chain would. Now, there are benefits to having chain, and I think chain nunchucks are better once you know what you're doing, obviously. That's, that's what my belief is. But for starting off, rope is excellent. And uh, rope is what I advise my students to practice uh, when I'm teaching nunchucks in class. Another thing that makes these weapons great is its longevity. I have had these, these specific pair of nunchucks since uh, I want to say 2008, so a little bit over, a little bit over 10 years now, and they still hold up strong. They still uh, stay together. They don't come up, come loose. The only issue I ever have with these nunchucks is the fact that the foam will slide off of the plastic casing in the middle fairly often. So if you're not careful, it might shoot out of your hand. Now to fix that, it's a fairly simple fix. You just got to take some either double-sided tape or glue. Uh, and coat the plastic part in it when you slide it in to, back into the foam But I do have to say that problem rarely comes up It usually stays in nice and tight as you can see here and I rarely have that issue Also the rope has not broken I haven't had to replace the chain or the rope that ties these two together ever and these things have been put through the ringer <laughs> over the years the biggest problem I see with these nunchucks especially after using them for so long is that the rope is going to be long now for beginners again this is ideal it makes catching behind the back a little bit easier it makes doing some of the crazier uh, transfers a little bit easier but for more of the intermediate and advanced users users doing things like hand rolls are gonna be slightly thrown off with the longer chain even doing something as simple as spinning it into your hand you will automatically catch the rope instead of the nunchuck like you would in a three chain system or just a shorter rope. Obviously, if it bothers you that much, you can get uh, a shorter rope and put it in once you pass the beginner stage. But for beginners, this is an excellent choice of martial arts weapon uh, as far as nunchucks goes. And for any school thinking of using nunchucks in their curriculum, this is an excellent choice to go with for beginners. It keeps the fun of learning nunchucks without the pain so much in the beginning. Obviously, once you get higher up in the ranks, there are other nunchucks I suggest you get. But for the beginners, white belts, yellow belts, orange belts, wherever you start learning nunchucks in your school, this is a great startup for you guys. Now, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope it was insightful for you. Um, if you want to see me review any other specific weapon or maybe the next level up for nunchucks, let me know down in the comments. Type down what you want me to see because that helps me so, so much. Uh, if you've made it this far in the video, I'm just going to let you guys know that down in the description, I do have information on giveaways. So if you are interested in getting a karambit knife or if your you know, country or state doesn't allow you to get karambits, getting something else relevant to that or relevant to the channel, so something martial arts wise, uh, definitely check out the description below for information on that. I have actually two giveaways for my 25,000 subscriber giveaway special. One's gonna be here on YouTube and one's gonna be on my Instagram. So if you're interested, check that out. But like always, don't forget to like and subscribe on this video. If you want to see more, hit that bell so you don't miss my next video. And until next time, my name is DJ Moore. This is The Modern Ninja, and I'm out.